Welcome back, everybody! Oh, 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 oh. Show us your wristband <laughs> here in Central Florida with the Wall That's Twins, right. Adam and Brett and Adam. Yeah, sorry, yeah, oh, Brett right. and Adam. That's right. And I'm Todd. Today we are going to have some fun here in a popka. Did I say a popka? Right. Pop pop it rolls off the tongue. Say it. A popka, pop pop Florida. We're gonna make a classic that I've made a lot of times tonight. You guys haven't made it yet? Never Correct. Made it. Oh, are you ready for bacon fried corn? corn? Yeah! <laughs> Whoa! Coming straight at ya! Yeah! Let's give it a try! The Blackstone 36 inch griddle, I'm down low-ish, you know, the beauty, and I say this all the time, of having multiple burners is if I need to, I can crank things up, I can turn things off, whatever I need to, things get hot, turn them off, and then fire them back up. So we are down on low-ish right now, and we have some bacon, delicious diced, right brand bacon. You either got the right bacon or the wrong bacon. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Oh, 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 the right bacon. In with the bacon. When you're making bacon fried corn, you have to have bacon. What? So and I have to confess, folks, you know, we've made bacon fried corn for years, but I wasn't always a bacon fried corn aficionado like I am now. But I love it. Been making it for years, and I think it's probably the most popular thing I've ever made on the road with Blackstone Griddle. Wafting, wafting, and Everyone likes the right brand. It smells like bacon. So we call it bacon fried corn. Some people call it Mexican street corn or street corn, one and the same. You'll see people selling this on the West Coast especially. People make it across the country now. I think Costco had it recently. I saw it in a bag of frozen corn. And so we're gonna make a recipe that I made on my YouTube channel about a year ago, and I think you're gonna love it. Look how quickly that bacon woo, starts to cook. And I talked about this earlier. I'm gonna go ahead right now. We're just gonna, again, turn two of these burners off. Put this over there in the safe zone. My old friend, the garlic paste, of course, it can be fresh garlic. Put a little bit down there. It's just oil and garlic. I got some onions there. I think it's a white or yellow onion. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and just mix this up with the bacon grease. Okay. And instantly gonna start sizzling like so. Meanwhile, right over here on the side, we're gonna go in with some frozen corn. Just a couple bags of frozen corn. Now we're gonna go ahead and incorporate the bacon here with the corn. You can see that bacon is sizzling away. It is done. We're gonna take advantage of that bacon grease and get that corn to sizzling. So the magic of bacon fried corn, of Mexican street corn, is of course that mixture of the sweet and the bacon, or the sweet and the corn rather, with the savory of the bacon. I think our corn's getting close. I'm gonna get a clean fork, not a dirty one. Clean fork. Mm. Blackstone tequila lime seasoning, really any kind of Tex-Mex or Mexican seasoning works great for this. As long as you have some mixture of cumin or chili pepper, this has a great lime flavor in there as well. Pick it up at Walmart. So we're just gonna mix some of that up with our corn, like so. And next we're gonna put some jalapenos in there. Hey, why you getting jalapeno in my griddle? So I'm gonna put these in at the end. I want that green color to remain, okay? So we're just gonna put them in there and uh, give it a few seconds. We're not looking to saute those. We just wanna add some color and a little bit of spice. Now we're gonna go put this in a serving bowl like so. Thank you, by the way, Adam. Adam is really good. Brett. Brett. Oh! <laughs> but, <laughs> hey, one of the Wall Twins is holding the bowl. <laughs> there you go, that's all you need to know, the other uh, one. One of the Wall Twins. Time to garnish this thing up. I like to use some kind of a Mexican crumbling cheese. This is queso fresco. Un kilo, it's un kilo. Mexican crumbling cheese is really nice. You can kind of just dust wow. it on there like so. It looks beautiful. This <laughs> is the hungry, what? come on. Good groceries, baby. This is my favorite. I always go in with some cheddar jalapeno <laughs> Cheetos. So when I was out in California a couple years ago and making bacon fried corn, this guy showed me a picture. He said all the out the food trucks out here put Cheetos on top of theirs. And I said, sounds amazing. Then I'll go ahead and I'll sprinkle a little bit of cilantro on top like that. Look at that. Look at the color. Crema, 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 crema. Here we go. Let's go with a little crema on there. Oh, ribbons of crema. Favorite, Cholula. Now, typically I use chili garlic. I couldn't find it today. I was going to make my own. Hey, when in Rome, it's all I could find. I go with chili garlic, but a little bit of Cholula on top. Look at that. I am Iron Man. Do you like avocado, hussy? 
Oh yeah, I eat it off of a dang hind end of a goat. <laughs> Who doesn't? <laughs> I'll just scoop it out like so. Just get rid of that. And then we're just gonna kind of garnish this on here. You can lay those avocados on there like so. Take a look at that! Let's give it a try. Bacon oh, man. fried core. Oh, look at that. Who's your daddy? Oh, we need to get into that. I gotta get a little bit of cherry. Yeah, get some bacon in there. Oh. Get some in there. Oh man. Oh my god. Oh, look at the oh, colors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I got just a hat ish. Come on, there we go. There we go. Where do you go? There's the bite. Mm. <laughs> oh my god. Oh wow. The sweet with the corn. Oh yeah. And the savor with the bacon. Oh yep. yeah. And then right everything else is just everything else. You got some heat from those Cheetos. You got the, the jalapenos in there. The creaminess. The, the creaminess. Mm. The avocado. Yeah, some people will use like the extra flaming hot Cheeto. Go ahead. I just happen to love the jalapeno. You guys like it too, oh, right? Yeah. No. Mmm. The cream up, that cheese. So the bacon fried corn, it's so good. I've cooked it, I think, in 30 plus states. And if there's ever something that I cook that people always say, remember that time you it's always bacon fried corn. Yeah, this mm. is coming to the Wall Twins. Yeah. To a Wall Twins. I meant to take you. one or two bites. Oh, and you guys could try this too, because I had a subscriber once who actually said to me, Hey Todd, how about trying brisket fried corn? Ooh. Ooh. We got a uh, collar fried corn, shrimp fried corn. You got all kinds of it's fried corn on the corn, <laughs> on the corn, brisket fried corn, pulled pork corn, bologna fried corn, <laughs> south meat. Uh, corn, salsa fried corn, all kinds of corn you can have with the fried corn. <laughs> all right, everybody, take one last look at what's left over. Man, we're going to go and eat the rest of this, but that is bacon fried corn. You can call it Mexican street corn, amazing. street corn, whatever, but we loved it. What'd you yeah, think? We call, uh, yeah, we call it amazing is what we call it. We call it not the last time that will be thrown on the grill. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. And look, and it's so good. Hungry hussy came for some, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of funny and kind of weird. <laughs> so until next time, everybody, this is Todd and Brett and Adam. We're singing praise the Lord and pass the bacon fried corn 3.0.1. Point oh point that we bid you adieu. And a coup de gras. And a hukuda matata. Hukuda matata. Ain't no passing grace. It means no worries for the rest of our days. It's our problem free philosophy. Hakuna Matata. 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 Hakuna Matata. Hakuna Matata. Hakuna Matata. Hakuna Matata. Oh, yeah. Snap into some corn and fried corn. Yeah.